Okay, let's move over to the filter. So this is a situation where I really recommend having a MIDI controller. Um, it just makes the experience so much more direct, tactile. It's like you're actually working with a hardware synth. So if you have any MIDI controller, I strongly recommend just plugging it in and using your synth that way. Um, and Logic makes it really easy. So you can click on any parameter that you want to map to your controller and you just hit Command L. And then this little menu comes up and it's going to learn the assignment. So now you just move any knob on your controller and I immediately have control over it. So that's amazing. My MIDI controller is actually the Roland System 1, which is a hardware synth. So I'm mapping it to the filter cutoff control on the synth because I'm already familiar with where it's located. So that's great. Um, if you check out my other video titled, What Does a Filter Do? You'll remember that there's two main parameters on a filter. There's the cutoff uh, or the frequency cutoff and there's the resonance. So let's go ahead and map the resonance as well. So to do the resonance control, you have to click in the menu itself. And now I will do it. There it is. Cool. So now I can actually play the filter in real time when I play the synth. Pretty cool. All right, returning that resonance control to zero. And next you have the LFO knob and you have an envelope knob. If you don't know, LFO stands for low frequency oscillator. And that basically means any oscillator, if you tune it low enough, it goes lower, it goes below audio rate. And when we say audio rate, that means that's the cutoff. That's where your ear can determine a pitch or not. So if I play, if I play a wave and I slow it down more and more over time, eventually it's not going to sound like a tone anymore. It's going to be the, the oscillations are going to be so far apart that you don't hear it anymore because the rate of oscillation will go below 20 Hertz. And that's actually the bottom range of human hearing. We can't hear any sounds below 20 Hertz. Um, so if you have an os a wave oscillating at like 11 Hertz, you can't hear it. Um, it. So it's undetectable by hearing it, but we can see it using a, a, an oscilloscope and we can also use it to modulate other waves. And that would be technically called an LFO. So let's dial in the LFO. Now, as I pull this up, this is going to be the amount that the LFO is going to affect this filter. So really, it's going to be affecting the cutoff here. So let's go ahead and dial this up. Well, let's play a note without anything. And now let's play a note with this all the way up. OK, and you can hear that little bouncing type of effect. And that's coming from the LFO here. Now, this is the depth of the LFO. So if I bring this up, we start to have more dramatic effects. And so really what the LFO is doing is it's just moving this cutoff like that for you. And that's what we call modulation. Modulation just means a change over time. So it's changing this parameter at this rate. And we can see here the rate is this light. So you have different waveforms for the LFO as well. And you can affect the rate with this slider. Um, so here's, um, this is a triangle wave. This is a square. So it's kind of a harder effect, which makes sense. This looks like a partial square. So it's kind of like a pulse. This is a ramp. 
forward ramp and this is a reverse ramp. So they all have a slightly different effect. And again, here's our depth. And here's the rate. So as I slow this down, and it tells you the hertz here, so this is at 6.4 hertz, we wouldn't be able to hear this by itself. And I can keep slowing it down. So that gets really slow. And this will also go up into audio rates. So as I turn this, this wheel up, once I pass 20, we're in audio rate. So you'll see what that sounds like. It's basically going to speed up until it becomes its own tone. See, now it's a tone that you can hear. And it sounds like right here is an octave for C. So it kind of leveled out. Cool. All right, so that's the LFO. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so the vibrato is gonna work exactly the same way, except it's gonna affect the pitch of the wave. So let's try some vibrato. And I'm gonna need to go up here and dial it in as well. Okay, and let's slow it down. So that's how you get that's how you get those kind of old arcade sounds. Let's uh, bring the depth down a little bit. So that's a sound that I personally really like and was popularized by Boards of Canada. If you've never heard them, they did a lot for the synth world in terms of making some really cool compositions and some great sounding stuff. Mm -hmm. 